There are so many arguments for the existence of God, it's stupid to deny his existence. Welcome to Friday Fallacy. This week we're looking at cherry picking. The fallacy of cherry picking is when not all evidence is presented so as to give a biased impression. That is, rather than acknowledging all evidence, both for and against a conclusion, only one side is accurately represented. This is not a sound way of arguing, as ignoring relevant evidence is unlikely to lead to true conclusions. That some serial killers were atheists in no way establishes that atheism leads to serial killing due to the existence of a number of serial killers who were religious. That many prison inmates are Christians in no way establishes that Christianity causes people to commit crimes due to the existence of many Christians who don't commit crimes. Some examples of the fallacy of cherry picking. The universe must be fine tuned for life. Look at all the amazing coincidences. The Bible is nothing but barbarism and slavery. Muslims just want to impose Sharia law. Republicans support equality. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Vaccination causes autism. Look at these kids who developed autism after being vaccinated. Now, not all selection of data amounts to cherry picking. In some contexts, the desire is not actually to present a balanced account. For example, in a criminal prosecution, the defence lawyer's responsibility is to challenge and question the prosecution's case and to present their best defence. In that context, the defence lawyer is not cherry picking as they are not asserting that they are giving a complete account, but rather a defence to a charge. Similarly, it is sometimes useful for someone to play the role of a devil's advocate, and when doing this, it is clear that they're not attempting to provide a balanced review of the evidence, but rather the best argument for a particular conclusion. In this case, it's not a fallacy, as all participants are aware that the data presented may not be complete. However, any restriction of the evidence considered for inadequate reasons amounts to cherry picking whenever the goal is to arrive at a true conclusion. That is, if the context of an argument is the discussion of what is true, then all evidence must be considered in order to arrive at a fair conclusion. To exclude evidence from that process amounts to cherry picking. In conclusion, the fallacy of cherry picking is when not all evidence is presented so as to give a biased impression. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself.